right. Serving off from a little shelter. Look like it's gonna be a beautiful day. So I got a sizable donation on Venmo last night from uh, Miss Kimberly Big Thanks. Uh, she wrote a note that says, get your tarp tent. <sighs> and who am I to argue with that, right? <laughs> I think I'm gonna order it this evening. Just gonna let it set, settle in my mind to make sure that's what I'm set on, you know? But, uh, <laughs> so thankful, Miss Kimberly. Oh, really appreciate that. Really looking forward to getting this backpack kit as light as possible. So it's gonna be a big step. Thank you. One. Thought I'd see if we had a little view over here. Wasn't bad. Not sure what town that is. So I messed up. Passed up the last couple water sources, not even thinking. It's like the next one on gut hook is like 13.5 miles. <sighs> and I definitely haven't cameled any water in a couple days, so might end up being a dry one. Must be getting close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Dang, I wish I would have cameled up so I wouldn't be in a rush right now. Hope I come across a water cache.
Those people in the Viago just gave me some water. The trail provides, I swear. I was so excited about getting that water and I saw that blaze over there. <laughs> I just started walking down the road. Realized way up there that uh, the trail's back here. Definitely a coincidence to say the least when um, when that donation came in from Miss Kim last night. In the free time I have, if there's Wi-Fi or if there's you know cell service, then I'm probably looking at backpacking gear because I just geek out on it. But of course, I was looking at the gear last night and thinking about tarps and tents again and thinking, yeah, it's gonna be a while before I can justify that. I'm gonna have to wait till my next hike. And then boom, that donation came in and it's like, all right, I guess we're doing it. It's like the universe was watching. I realized the one I'm using still has a lot of life left. Um, so I think if Bob wants to, I'll probably let him use it. He likes the, the Gossamer gear tent he's been using, but he does want more space. So I think, I think my setup right now might be a little bit heavier than his, but if he wants to take the weight for the space, then I'll let him use it if it makes him more comfortable. Hopefully get to link up with him this evening or tomorrow. If uh, him and Easily Forgotten are still moving along. Look at that. I do believe I remember this little stretch vividly. Beautiful views today. Beautiful.
So I saw in, in the comments that some people don't really like to hear about when I'm uploading, which I guess I can understand that. Like you wanna watch the hike, you know, and not think about the vlogging aspect. <clears throat> I can respect that. I just kind of look at it like, like another challenge, you know? I think it can only enhance the experience if I'm putting the videos out basically as soon as I finish them. Y'all are only a day behind, you know? I think that adds something to it, especially for like family and close friends. They can think about what the weather was like yesterday and I don't know. This makes it seem more real to me. I've never, really my first experience with vlogging. I wasn't even calling this a vlog initially, you know, until I talked to people about it and they kept saying vlog. I was just thinking like, you know, like a sitcom or adventurous show every day. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a, <clears throat> it's definitely another challenge though. And uh, sometimes I can even find some fun in it breaks the monotony and it also those are the times when I'm sitting there uploading to YouTube those are the times when I'm really enjoying nature right now because I'm not worried about filming and getting the shot and missing that cool tree or that view like this right now Yeah, whenever I'm, you know, sitting down in the woods on trail somewhere, waiting for the video to upload, when I finally find a good spot, three bars plus, that's when I'm really enjoying it. I'm relaxing. So.
right, that was a nice little break to meet Damien, dude's from Argentina, that's cool. I really wanna get across the big pond one day and uh, check some other countries out. I'd love to do some backpacking over there. So I just talked to the lady at the Middleton campground place. She said uh, she's not sure how long she's gonna be out, but if I just give her a call, she'll come cook up a burger for me. About three miles out. Should be able to make it by 5.36. One thing skateboarding prepared me for. Ah, right. We got the Middleton campground to the left. So when I talked to the lady earlier, when I asked her like what time they stopped selling hot food, she told me to give her a call whenever I get to the road and she would go back over there and cook some food up. So I figured she lived, you know, a little ways down the road and I'd give her a holler she'd meet me over there but when I just called her she uh said she was coming to pick me up it was like a mile and a half uphill I was gonna walk it but I ain't gonna argue with her I definitely could have made the walk I'm looking at the elevation map and it's not that high but I have a feeling she wants to you know grab me and get me over there so she could go ahead and get the cooking and stuff done early that's another reason I didn't want to argue. Middle Creek Campground. Cool little spot. <clears throat> I remember coming here in 2020. We just passed through, got some food, kept going. I'm gonna spend the night here, take my time. Get some food in the morning. Give Bob a little bit more time to catch up. Oh man, the moon's out already. Gonna be full in just a couple days. About 10.30, I am falling asleep. What a nice little day today. About 17 miles into this middle campground spot. A nice little spot. Nice warm showers. Mm, let me pitch over here under this. I think it's a cherry blossom tree. I still don't know what these what these things are called, but we'll go with cherry blossom. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna crash early and um, hopefully wake up early and crank the rest of this video up. Good night.